Hello Travelers, so today I thought I'd do my final sort of quick review of the Bellrow Venture Sling 9 litre. Now I've been using this for the past probably four months, about four months. Um, I did use it in a previous trip in Thailand and my girlfriend helped me film some scenes of it so you'll see some of those clips um, as I'm talking. Now to start off, some of the things I like about this bag uh, is the material. It's a really nice durable feeling material and it's slightly water resistant so water does bead off it slightly but not completely so um, there is still a chance that water can seep, seep in even though it does have uh, aquaguard zips the water still may get through because the seams are not tape sealed also other people have mentioned that the uh, the way this bag is constructed is that there is this gap here so even when the bag is fully zipped up there's still a slight gap into the main compartment um, now in my experience that hasn't been a huge problem um, I don't even tend to zip it up all the way, I leave it like about there because if you do zip it up all the way like that and then you want to quickly pull it open that kind of, that lip makes the zip catch and it can make it less easy to quickly pull open so I did a previous video where I talked about everything I packed in here so you can click there to watch exactly what I've packed in but I have found it to be a very good size it's very expansive so when you have a little bit in there it, it feels thinner and then when you pack more um, this strap on the side kind of expands to hold the amount of stuff you're carrying. I did a previous video as well where I compared the new 6 litre version to the 9 litre version and in that video I concluded that the uh, 6 litre is actually slightly shorter and slightly narrower and so one of the things that, that means is that inside here carrying pens you can easily zip it up there's enough room with the 6 litre it's a bit shorter so the pens, full size pens didn't quite fit in there as easily. Now there is also a quick release system as you can see here. I personally didn't use it much um, and when I did I always found that no matter how hard I tried when I re-clipped it together the strap was uh, you know twisted so you can clip it both ways so you got to be careful when you're reattaching it that it's uh, the right way and the strap will stay nice and flat. So another thing people mentioned was that when you're wearing this bag over your back uh, if you're wearing it all the way to the side, your elbow can hit it a little bit as you're walking. I didn't notice that too much if you're wearing it diagonally like this, but if you wear it more sideways like this, then that can happen. So, just depending on how you wear your bag. Sometimes I wore it on the front like this, especially in crowded areas. I felt like it's uh, more safe to kind of hold it closer to the front of you and see whether people are um, accessing it or not. So some of the downsides is uh, it is a little bit on the weighty side. It's not heavy at all. It's very lightweight. Um, but for this bag, it is 400 or so grams, um, which is twice the weight of a previous bag that I carried, which is very lightweight. Um, as a one bag traveler, I, I prefer to carry bags that are as light as possible. So if they did make a version of this with their light fabric, um, like the light sling, I think that would be uh, a good way to improve it a little bit. Now as well, as I was saying, the zips here, when you catch on the lip, it's hard to quickly unzip it. And this is where I keep the uh, sunglasses. And what I'd do is I'd typically keep them aside and pull them out and then slide them back in like so. That pocket is quite useful, but when it gets really full, um, that does kind of become a little more difficult to access. The way the front compartment zip is constructed, it has this really deep lip on it. So uh, sometimes accessing this front pocket, the zip would not be quite as smooth. It does get smoother as you use it more, but um, it does get a bit crammed in there sometimes as well, I've noticed. But because of, again, how expensive it is, no matter how much I seem to cram in there, it always seemed to uh, fit and zip up. So overall, I think it's a really good bag, uh, very well constructed. It's very high quality. Um, the material is very nice, it feels very nice. Um, the strap is actually surprisingly comfortable, even though there's no padding. This material uh, is definitely comfortable to wear for long periods of time. And even with this bag fully packed, and I was carrying it all day, I never kind of felt too tired on my shoulders or anything. And you know, you can just move it across or move it to another shoulder if you did feel fatigued. But I, I never really felt like it was too heavy. Uh, even when fully packed. So that's basically it, just a really quick review of the Adventure Sling 9 litre. Definitely I prefer this one over the 6 litre version. I saw that they are actually also going to be making like a camera specific version as well, which I am assuming is going to have more padding and stuff like that. 
but I find this one to be really good for carrying a camera anyways. Do leave a comment below what is your favorite sling for traveling or if you even carry a sling and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.